Welcome to the latest edition of Bowls Australia TV. A very special guest joining me today, national coach Steve Glasson. Before I get to Steve, I'm here to talk about an exciting initiative for Bowls Australia. It's the Hall of Fame induction that will take place later this year in Adelaide. The Stanford Grand on December 7, and the Hall of Fame is, of course, about honouring our greatest players and administrators in the game in years gone by. Steve, no doubt, a very worthy initiative for Bowls Australia. Oh, I think it's fantastic. It's been a long time coming, Rich, and uh, and full credit to those behind uh, you know the incorporation of this uh, this process. I mean, it's going to be very difficult to decide at the end of the day ultimately who will be uh, one of possibly 30 inductees into the Hall of Fame for the uh, for the inaugural event. But you know, there's so many people that are worthy recipients, so many people that have put in uh, extraordinary commitment and, and contribution to the sport. But certainly, uh, you know, I know I'm looking forward to the night and can't wait to see who gets inducted for the first time. Just looking at it, there's two membership categories, both athlete. Uh, members, those who have played for Australia in years gone by, and also uh, general members, which may involve people with administration background, it may be coaches, selectors, those type of things. So narrowing it down to 30, as you say, is going to be a very hard task. Having a look at some of the athlete members, who are some of the people that spring to mind that you've got to think are going to be in contention? Oh, there's so many, isn't there? I mean, let's start with the women first, but Daphne Shaw, Mel Richardson, Edda Bernardo from the, from the playing ranks, um, in the men's, you know, Rob Perella, um, Rex Johnston, Kelvin Kirko, uh, Glenn Bazisto, John Snell, the list goes on. So uh, very difficult. Um, you know, I don't know how they're going to come to, a, to an answer. There's so many great players. But, you know, administration-wise, you've got the likes of Norm Cunico, done a tremendous amount over the years. Uh, Betty Collins, another one, being, you know, Australian and world president. And the list goes on. So, so many unsung, quiet achievers. They could come out of the woodwork as well. Yeah, and I think that's the important thing, that there is so many great people who have made a contribution to bowls in this game and that they'll be recognised. Having a look at the nomination process, nominations are open till July 31. The way people can nominate both athlete and general members is one of four ways. Bowls Australia board member, a Bowls Australia life member, a state or territory association, and more importantly, one of the 2,000 clubs nationwide across Australia can put their names in. And I'm sure there are plenty of clubs out there who would love to see their members nominated. Wonderful opportunity. I mean, don't miss out. I think, um, you know, clubs, if you've got somebody out there that uh, that is, you know, in your belief, a worthy recipient, certainly nominate them. Uh, albeit that it may not happen this year, it, it's great for down the track, but who knows, they might just be worthy recipients of the inaugural Hall of Fame inductees. Well, as you said, an unenviable task for people, up to 30 of the nation's finest administrators and bowlers to be inducted into the Hall of Fame in December of this year. We look forward to those people who have been included.